Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche, the tribe of the sea. And we are here with our tribe which has uh, grown a little bit in interesting ways because last episode we found two wanderers who mysteriously emerged from deep within the sea. Now, it's kind of crazy. They almost look as if they could be sisters. I mean, some of their genes are quite different, but they both have the derp snout, they both have the water body, they have the swimming tail, they have the web tied legs, they have very similar fertility. It almost seems like these two could be perhaps sisters, or maybe even from a tribe that already lurks deep within the, beneath the waves here. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> perhaps when we end up venturing further down, we'll find them, but we'll have to see. And then there's Nutaku, who's kind of just making a nuisance of himself. <laughs> he does have the uh, web tied legs and the swimming tail as well. So maybe he's a distant relative of that too, but right now he's just getting in the way pretty much. Uh, for now though, we're going to go ahead and we'll start a new day, and uh, I don't think we have any babies being born this turn, but uh, we have these two who are going to be hopefully growing up soon, and we do have some babies that need to be born thanks to that rogue that we, uh, uh, actually we didn't finish taking this one out, he kind of just slipped away. But let's go ahead and we'll start a new day. All right, there we go. Let's be kind of cautious. Um, and I'm gonna have Layla actually pick up these. It looks like that wanderer is kind of stuck trying to dig up the, um, the root right there. And so maybe we'll have these two kind of take the opportunity. Oh, and Layla can grab that as well. Maybe we'll have these guys kind of take the opportunity to, uh, ooh, there's a berry bush, perhaps secure this healing plant. And uh, let's make sure Anamiko can also gather. And then, uh, there's not so much we can do, but let's actually have her come over here. We'll make sure that Honorary continues swimming. She's teaching the tribe how it's done and in the process helping unlock that water body for us. And Ramila, oh, and there's another baby over here. Um, this time, well, still with that, uh, those web tined legs. It's weird to actually want them because normally they're completely detrimental and don't really serve a purpose to our tribe. If anything, they end up doing more harm than good most of the time. But uh, this time, we actually really want to see them. Uh, let's have Anamara. Oh, no, it's still under the ground. Okay. Um, and there is, let's see if Mimi Me can actually step over here, and it is a normal berry bush. Okay, we'll have her nest right here, and hopefully that, uh, that little one will not, uh, not cause any problems. He does actually have the gathering paw, and so, or the nimble fingers, I should say, and so he could pose a problem if he decides he wants to take those berries. Let's also move little Grun out of the nest. Now, where? I don't even know why this is happening. I'm very confused. Uh, but let's put Cece in the nest. What? Oh. Oh, there must be like another berry bush over there or something. And we can hear the bunny stealing from it. Now, our, our Kore in Grun... Oh, we actually didn't end up naming Kore, did we? Um, it's... Uh, it's Harry and Grun. No, they can't breed. I was hoping we could try and get that water body in, but unfortunately, no such luck. Although Grun... Grun could breed with Honorare. That might not be a bad idea, because then we could get some water body creatures who hopefully have some slightly better genetics. But let's make sure we name Kore and... I think... Hmm... Let's... What would be a good name for her? Perhaps, uh, let's go ahead and we'll call her... Hmm. Let's see. What would be a good name for her? I don't think... Nothing too swimming-like because she's not really a water creature. Although she does have that claw, at least, at least which is going to be good for helping us hunt. Uh, so maybe a strong name would be good. Um, let's see... I think we'll name her Zojo. Um, again, one of those names that I don't really know. I don't know if it really has a meaning or what it means, but it just kind of feels like it fits. So let's have uh, let's have Harry move this way as well, and she can kind of help light up this area. We can move Zojo over here, and maybe Grun can make his way in this direction as well. 
Um, hopefully, yeah, the healing fruit is still intact. So that's good. Let's see if Anamara can kind of... Oh, there was a nest right there. Oh, no. We didn't actually have to make one. That's a little bit unfortunate. But uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start a new day. And we are low on food once again. So we got to be kind of cautious of that. Let's make sure we have you gather. And you can stay there for the time being. Let's do all of our gathering before... I don't know where that bunny stole from. Oh, it might have been right here. Oh, let's see if Anala can catch. Yes, just barely managed to catch that bunny. We can also clear out some of this grass in hopes of finding more nesting material. Let's have Harry actually chase this one down as well. And Ramila can hop up here, gather, and pick up the bunny meat as well. Uh, you can gather from right here. We might want to send somebody over towards that shell if we can. Um, but let's bring Grun over here as well. And he can actually sit right up here and help. Uh, now, of course, Honorere can continue to swim up and down her river here. And see, I'm not going to have her try to fish because I think it's more productive to keep her swimming right now. Let's see if Cece... Uh, we did unlock the web tied legs. And where is the water body? So we've got 31 out of 50. That's good. So for any of our creatures who don't have specific water genes, we should probably try and breed in those web timed legs, just like we have this tail here. But let's take a look at Cece's little one. So we have Isreri, who at least got the secondary swimming tail here, but overall pretty bad genetics. So maybe what we'll do, let's see, we named you Zojo. Um, hmm... Let me see. Maybe we'll name you... Hmm. What would be a good name for you? Maybe we'll go ahead and... We'll name you Iris. Um, here. And so that will be a good name for you, I think. Uh, let me just make sure I get that off my list. There we go. And I think, oh, maybe you could, you could, could leap on this bunny. Oh my goodness, we found a pair of nests. What luck, actually, there's a little cove here that looks like it would be almost perfect for our creatures. Maybe it would be wise to start moving some of them in that direction. Now, there's a berry bush. We should have these guys explore what more we can find around this cove of the healing plant because uh, I think that might be of interest. Let's actually bring Zojo in that direction and see perhaps what she can find. Let's look at uh, Kokoko as well. Now, do we have a male in the tribe who would be possibly a good match? So Grun, prob uh, well, actually, no, Grun has the same immunity. Is Grun our only male? <laughs> Oh no! We might have to try and track down that loner we found around here because I think we've run out of male creatures. Let's destroy this nest and we can gather some grass. <laughs> Where did that one that one go? I think he may have come up this way. Oh, you can at least try and you can catch that bunny. Oh, we might have to look for him more carefully because... Right now, I think he's the only male we have. <laughs> Let's see if Cece can step over here, and maybe we'll actually bring Kokoko up here and start moving them in that direction. We'll go ahead and start another new day. Let's have... Let's have you... There we go. We got the bunny. So you can gather up this bunny, and then why don't you leave behind with your last turn another bunny that we can have gather they can they can gather up we'll gather from here let's have you cc try and catch this bunny at least take a swipe at it um and then these guys can continue to move that way and then these ones can step up here and just move a little bit in this direction we can gather up some of this grass and we'll see if we can gather up this meat that Anamara is going to leave behind on her last turn oh hello new taku <laughs> Ah, so we meet again. Let's block him away from our healing fruit. Excuse me? No, you are not allowed. Sir, 
you're not allowed to have this healing fruit. He's so stubborn. I don't know, you guys. I think we're gonna have to invite him in. We're really desperate, and much as I want absolutely nothing to do with him and his really bad genetics, I don't think we stand much chance without him. <laughs> um, Nutaku. Nutaku, who with his terrible immunity, or fertility, and, oh, we can't even replace it either. All right. If you're going to be lurking around here, at least make yourself useful and find something to, to do with yourself. Oh, that's the berry bush the bunnies have been stealing from. Uh, at least we won't have to worry about him stealing our, our, uh, our food anymore. And we do have all these coconut trees that our, our gathering line can, uh, can end up gathering from. Let's have a Zojo can lead the way this way. Oh, we've got a bunny we can try and catch. No such luck with the catching part of it, unfortunately. Uh, but maybe we'll get it on a future turn. And let's make sure little Grun stays with the rest of the tribe where he'll be warm. Um, honestly, I think we'll have Honorare... Let's have her swim out to sea. And maybe we can bring her around this way. Uh, and there's so many bunnies. Oh my goodness. Let's start a new day. And it looks like she has passed away. But we can bring Mimi -mi -mi up here. Have her gather. Somebody. Oh, and we lost a crate. Who is this? Oh my goodness, he's a fisher. Rokiro. Again with the awful immunity. Or, yeah, fertility. Oh, why is this such a theme? Um... He's got the gathering paw. Join us. This may be an awful decision, and I may regret it later. But, all right. Can you, Zojo, put that claw of yours to good use? Yes, you can. All right, let's have, uh, let's have you step up here, quickly gather, and then move across. You can cross as well. Why don't you jump up here and attack that bunny? That worked out. You can sit up here. You can sit up here. Iris, why don't you cross? And then we'll bring Honorary up this way to kind of lead the way. In fact, Cece can gather over here. And we'll have Layla gather down here. There's lots of things she can gather with her, uh, her little nimble fingers there. Let's make sure Lare kind of comes this way. In fact, we might be able to bring her down here where she can gather more coconuts. Uh, Rokiro can also help us gather coconuts in our little cove here. Um, and Anala, perhaps. Let's have Anala do a little more exploring and maybe make her way around this way and see what's on the other side of this cove. You can stay here. Oh, I forgot how bad his eyesight was. And uh, he can at least gather from that bush and explore the area a bit. I think we'll start a new day again. So we gotta figure out a breeding pair, though. We've got... We've got several males now, but none of them are a great option. You have no you guys have awful fertility, so I think <laughs> I think amazingly Grun is still at the top of our list. At least he still has good fertility. Uh, that's not something everyone can say. So if we're gonna breed with someone, it's probably gonna be Grun. Now he has G and D. And I think what we'll do here is he could breed with Cece. We, I want to try and breed the Cracker Jaw into his line, though, if we can. B and G. He couldn't breed with her. Actually, well, it doesn't matter if we get the Nimble Fingers. Um, we'll get the Cracker Jaw eventually, but for now, Nimble Fingers are more important. So he could breed with Cece, and I think we will have them end up being our, um, our breeding line. Now, Grun at least has the Water Body... So that's a start. That's something that we could see pass to his uh, to his, his offspring. So let's make sure Ramila does not have the blue gems anymore, because otherwise we might get her confused. And which of our creatures? So A D. Anala has A D. G D. That wouldn't be a good option. Lare has D G. Um, did somebody have the K immunity still? Um. Oh, it might have been over here. Let's bring Racy up this way. And Mimi Mimi has pretty decent 
jeans as well. It might be worth checking out this at some point, too, that other ice block. Um, oh, is there Mila who had K? And, oh, and Zojo. So Zojo has K and E. So we'll probably breed her with Grunt as well, although we do need to make sure we get uh, some better genetics in. So let's get, let's get the normal paw in. She at least has good fertility. Um, let's put in a normal paw, the normal runner leg. And her eyesight at least is good. She has, what, other, what else should we do? We can't put in the water body, so I'm not gonna put in this, well, I'll leave her other one open for now because we might unlock the water body soon. Uh, we'll just make sure that we keep um, Honorare out swimming in the sea. So we'll go ahead and start another new day though. And we've got another one of those birds. Oh my goodness, they're just everywhere. Let's make sure that CC keeps moving and you can gather here and here. You can gather from here and pick up two coconuts, too. What a jackpot. And then these guys can come this way and come over here. And I feel like Honorare, she's really made for the sea. I don't think she would stick around too long in uh, <laughs> on the shore. I think she would want to go swimming again very quickly. Um, you can... Oh, did a bunny get it there? Oh, there's a bunny right here. Let's attack the rabble and then collect the heap of meat and then Rokiro can collect there. Anala, meanwhile, can kind of explore around over this way. Uh, we'll leave Layla right there and let's actually bring Cece out here along with Kokoko and Iris. Oh, there's a bunny right here. <laughs> oh, it just came to us pretty much almost asking to be eaten. Let's see if either of these guys can spot another bunny. Oh, they're all the way out of the reach, though, for now. So, let's see if any of them... Ooh, you have the chance to attack, and you can finish it off. Now, I don't know. We're not going to be able to get to that meat this time, but we should be able to the next time. Let's also make sure that me, 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 and uh, Racy here... Ooh, I guess I didn't name Racy, did I? Oh, I didn't mean to have her try and dig, but that worked out. Uh, we'll actually leave Ricey's name, I think. I don't see one that seems super fitting at this point. Uh, but we'll go ahead and I think that's going to be mostly it for this turn. Let's make sure we clear away that grass. And then we'll start another new day. And... Did we, we unlocked a new gene? Wait! What did we unlock? Do we have something here that, that's going to be good? We don't have the water body yet, although we're getting there. Um, I don't actually see what we unlocked. Let's make sure that, okay, we can have Grun gather up that heap of meat. And we'll make sure you gather here, and you gather here. And you can gather here. We've got quite a lot of places we can actually gather from. I don't know where that, um... Oh, we need to get her down into the into the ocean pretty quickly. Oh, that's where the coconut fell. Maybe that would be a saying in this tribe, where where the coconut uh, where the coconut falls, or that's just how the coconut falls. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let's see if you can make your way over this way. Oh, there's a crabbit as well. This is like a crabbit cove almost. My goodness, it's it's this place is incredible. <laughs> It's, oh, I shouldn't have done that because then it came back. Okay, let's make sure that little Iris can follow as well into the safety here. And we'll bring uh, we'll bring you down here and then let's have, um, oh, you can't, neither of these guys can actually reach. Yep, and that Dodo Mingo is back. I was worried it would do that. Let's have you guys keep making your way this way. Oh, no, Racy, be careful as you swim across. There we go. She's all right. And we can bring you... Oh, I should have moved in on that. I didn't see the uh, the Dodo Mingo had moved out. Okay, the next time it moves, we've got to put someone else in there. So where was our other... So we have Coco Co. And we have Cece. So she's already out of moves for the day. Let's bring Ramila a little closer. Oh, there. And we'll put, uh, we'll put Harry in the nest for now. And just kind of explore this way a little bit more. We'll bring Mimi Me over here. Uh-oh. We got to be careful of that because that mole is going to turn around and see us if we're not careful. Um, but I think that's it for this turn, actually. 
So why don't we go ahead and we'll pause, or we'll, we'll start a new day. And you can't actually attack the stag mole. So why don't you hop up here and we'll bring new Taku over this way. Because if anybody is going to have a better chance at um, actually catching that stag mole, it would probably be him. Because uh, he has the big body. So let's have you gather here. Honorary can venture deeper into the sea, I think. And try and get some more swimming in, possibly. I don't know if we're going to end up breeding her much, because I want to try and mutate it in. And I think some of the creatures that do have it can um, can would be a little bit better for breeding purposes. Let's see if, um, hmm, we could have, let's have uh, Rokiro can gather and then step out of the way of the coconuts. And then we'll move Harry out of the nest and Cece can step into it. We'll actually breed both of these guys on this turn. Oh, and this little bunny has come right up to you, basically asking to be eaten. So the mole is facing that way. Oh no, it turned and saw her. Well, you can maybe slip into this grass here. Would it see you? How well camouflaged are you, too? I don't know if it'll see you or not. It might not spawn if you're right there. Um, oh, and you didn't actually end up getting pregnant. There we go. Let's see if Zojo can maybe come across here and help with a bit of this bunny problem a little bit. Oh, and there's another nest and another Dodo Mingo. Maybe, maybe Harry can come over this way and uh, perhaps be able to help better over there too. And we'll also bring Ricey in that direction and just see. Oh, and we startled another mole. Um, oh, and that is one of our creatures there. Okay, for a moment I, I didn't recognize Zojo, and I thought she was a wanderer, and I was like, wait a minute, who are you? But it's just Zojo, we're all right. Let's uh, bring you up here, and then I think we'll do one more turn. Oh, and you can try and snatch up this bunny, that worked out. Um, but I think we'll do one more turn here before the episode is up. So let's start a new day. All right, two new babies, and it looks like one of them is, in fact, a male. Is someone sick? Oh, it might be you. Oh, hello. Um, why don't we not? Um, my goodness, those are some, uh, some truly horrific genetics. <laughs> oh, and somebody has a leech as well. Oh, no. Nutaku, I think it might be up to you to end up protecting her... What in the world? Oh, it's Zojo. Zojo has a leech. And, oh, Zojo needs to actually be a breeding creature. Let's bring her back this way. And is it... It's gonna be... It's honorary, all right. Let's have you swim up here. And maybe... Maybe Rokiro can actually pull that off for you. And maybe venture a little ways into the sea himself alongside you. So help me... Oh, Layla, I'm sorry. <laughs> Poor Layla. She, she's had some, uh, well, I, just in general, I think our creatures have had some, uh, some issues with these rogues. My goodness. Let's see if anybody can uh, catch some food over here, though. All right, you can get that. And then working together here, you can, um, you can figure that out. That Dodomingo can have that nest, because I don't think I want to be nesting under a, a coconut tree. Although, actually, the nest might end up blocking the coconuts. Although, I'm, I'm not actually sure. Come to think of it, I'm not actually sure. And, um, so I don't, I don't really know. Let's see if you can at least gather that up. And we do have, um, well, should Coco Co... We'll bring her up here. We'll bring you up here. Have you try and nest, maybe. And then it's a... I know we're not focusing quite as much on the story right now, by the way, but we will be in the future. Uh, we just need to get a little more settled in. Oh, no! Honorara! Wait a minute! Oh, no! Oh, goodness. Okay, Coco, Co, hopefully she doesn't get sick. Um, you are not actually a breeding creature. You're not supposed to be a breeding creature. I miss, uh, miscolored her, her gems. Uh, hopefully Van Kirku also won't get sick. We'll have to see what happens with that next time. And there is that rogue. I mean, at least he has the flipper feet. He also has albinism. Why are there so many albino creatures around here? Maybe there really is a tribe lurking down in the sea. <laughs> but uh, I suppose we'll have to, to see next time. 
So uh, it is about time to wrap up the episode, so I think we're going to go ahead and end off here. We will be getting more into the story in future episodes. Uh, I know we haven't had as much story developing just yet, but I think a lot more of that will happen as we start to have creatures that are actually um, seaworthy. <laughs> creatures that can actually survive in the depths of the ocean. So for now, though, we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.